What's up, y'all? It's Ashley. I was like, I'm, I'm scared and nervous. This is the start of my wisdom teeth vlog. Right now the time is 4 p.m. It's tomorrow at 11.20. Today, y'all said to drink pineapple juice. I have been drinking pineapple juice literally out of my freaking ass. I'm very excited to get them taken out. Two of my wisdom teeth, from what they told me, are impacted. So they're literally growing sideways like babes. They are growing so motherfucking fucked up. Since I can't eat anything for like the next week, I was like, I am going to get me a meal. This morning, I got a brown sugar shake and espresso from Starbucks. I got a I got a sandwich and a cheese danish. Show that I'm be eating like mashed potatoes and slop for the next week. Couldn't tell if I want a wings up or Popeyes, but I think I want Popeyes. I can't eat or drink anything after midnight. I get so hungry and thirsty in the mornings. I've been literally watching wisdom teeth videos all freaking day. I even watched the extraction of them. I'm literally a fucking psychopath, but I am very scared. I've never broken a bone. I never hurt anything in my life. I've never had to have a surgery. So for me, this is like really big. This is like a really big thing. I think to other people, this is just like kind of whatever. I'll show you guys what I ordered on Amazon too when I get home. But right now we're going to go to Popeye's. You know, your girl's going to have her last meal and I'm getting everything, bitch. I'm getting the combo chicken strip. Do me on a sweet tea and a mac and cheese. I'm very, very excited. Look, I got me a little fit on. I'm looking cute. A fit to go to Popeye's, bitch. I got my Ugg slides on too. I want to look cute because I'm going to look like a gremlin for the next week in bed. I want a three piece tender combo and then a side of a oh, large goodness. mac and cheese. Okay, so we got two mac and cheeses. This is a big mac and cheese. They have two sizes this one and the other one, which is like two bites. So we got the mac and cheese, two of those. And then he got, what did you get? A chicken sandwich. And I got a three piece with, I love their fries. Their fries are my favorite. Oh, they did a good three piece. And I'm about to butter my biscuit with some butter and honey. Mmm, mmm. Their fries are really my favorite. Their sweet tea tastes like cardboard a little bit. It's not bad, but it's an acquired taste. I'm like the sweet tea queen. I love sweet tea. So every time I go somewhere and I get a sweet tea, it's interesting to see how different every place of sweet tea is, but I thought it was just the last time we went, but their sweet tea, I've been a couple times now, and their sweet tea always tastes like cardboard a little bit. It's 9.30, but I want to show you guys what I ordered from Amazon <coughs> for in preparation of my wisdoms. So you got this thing, <laughs> but over here it's got ice packs that you can put in it. In here, see that this just like slips in here, like this. Okay, well, it does slip in here. I just can't get it in there now. You're gonna have to do this for me tomorrow. Are you watching? What the hell is going on? He's not even watching. He's supposed to be my caregiver. Not watching any damn instructions. You put the ice pack in there, and it feels good. I used it last night. I used it last night because my wisdom teeth have been in a lot of pain. But hopefully after tomorrow, I mean tomorrow they'll be in pain, but hopefully after the recovery process, they won't be in pain anymore. I also ordered a heating pad because I was reading, I have a lot of pain right here, like in my lymph nodes, and I was reading that hot, like a heating pad or a hot compress helps with the pain right here, with your wisdom teeth recovery, like in your neck, not right here, right here I'm gonna ice. I ordered this heating pad on Amazon because I've been sticking it right here. And oh my god, like on my neck it feels so freaking good. So I'm gonna make sure that I have this for tomorrow. And I lost my other heating pad, so I needed this anyways for like period cramps and whatnot. But yeah, this one is cute. It's like small, it's like long, but like skinny, you know what I'm saying? The opposite of me. I'm almost done with this mother loving juice. And I'm gonna open this one tonight this is the rest of what i'm going to be drinking for the rest of my recovery y'all i've been watching wisdom teeth videos for the past like hours it's where he tries to speak to me and i'm like i don't even know what's going on the last one i watched all they did was numb the girl topically and give her some laughing gas i hope that mine is as easy as that like i'm just hoping that it goes easy and smooth and that i don't have to have a scare okay we made it I'm freaking out. I'm getting scared. I'm about to start crying. I'm about to freak out. It's gonna be so easy. I brought bags in case I have to throw up. <laughs> I look like a fucking wimp. Okay, let me just not. Okay, but we're here 
and I'm, we're gonna go in. I can't let these people know that I was just having a tear yet. I got my paperwork, I got my card, I got my two different types of headphones. And we're about to go in, and when you guys see me, I'm gonna look ugly and have blood all over my teeth. So, let's go. No wisdom teeth getting taken out. I go in there, and they call my name. And I'm like, oh. And I told the lady I was nervous, and she's like, well, it's just a consult today. What? That is not what the lady told me on the phone. My teeth, just as I suspected, are more fucked up than I think that I thought that they were because my two bottom teeth are potentially hitting my nerves right here. So either they have to crack the teeth in half and leave the bottom piece of my wisdom teeth, which will still cause me pain, he said. He's like, yeah, you'll just have like pain forever. Or I can pull the whole tooth out and run the risk of basically not being able to have sensation in this bottom piece of my face right here. So, the two options, that's not two very good options, is it? One, you just have to cut the tooth in half and just be in pain, just be in like a little bit of pain. And then he told me down the line, it can rupture, that piece can rupture and cause me even more pains. And I have to get the anesthesia, which is what I was mainly really scared about. But they were like, oh no, you're gonna have to get the anesthesia because, and then they prescribed me all this anxiety medication. And they're like, you need to take this anxiety medication before, we're gonna sedate you. We have to take blood to put into my sockets back there because they were like, if we do this procedure, you're gonna get these dry sockets and we have to take blood and pour the blood and the, oh my God. It was just like this big long thing and I'm like, why was nobody else's, I watched so many wisdom teeth videos and nobody else's was like this much shit. But I'm alive and well, it's in two weeks. Kinda wish my teeth were getting pulled out today cause I'm just in pain, it's painful. That's how I know that he's gonna go in there and be like, oh yeah, they're definitely hitting a nerve. I think that I will just say to pull them out though. I think just pull them out. If I can't feel my chin for the rest of my life, like, oh fucking well. See you in two weeks. <laughs> Second meal, this is two weeks later. Wisdom teeth is tomorrow. We got another mac and cheese, some fries and a sandwich. We went to Chick-fil-A. So this is what I'm eating for my now final last meal before my surgery. Last week, I called in, made sure they had my prescription for all the stuff that they prescribed me. They gave me ibuprofen too. They like prescribed me ibuprofen. I guess that they have to do that. I don't know. I have one of this like anxiety medication. They were like, you need to take it because it'll ease your dental anxiety. I'm like, okay. <laughs> then they gave me, what is this? So I have to like let two of these dissolve under my tongue or something like that, and then I have to take one of the anxiety ones, and then they prescribe me some pain medication, which is the hydrocodone, which they prescribed a lot of people, and a lot of people were like, yeah, I didn't take those because I didn't want to get addicted. I'm like, bitch, I'm gonna be popping these motherfucking pain. I don't give a fuck. I think that I will need the big guns, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be very painful, especially if I'm getting the coronectomy, which is the name. I figured out that is the name of the thing that I could potentially be getting where they split the tooth in half and leave basically the base of the tooth, the bone, which could basically rupture later. Hopefully when we go in there, it's not touching my nerves. <laughs> so they'll just be able to rip them out and we won't have to deal with doing the coronectomy, but he was like, it's looking like you're gonna have to do the coronectomy, which is apparently, the healing process of that is like 12 times longer. They gave me some chloride, chlorohexidine, which I already have a bottle of this because the dentist made me buy a bottle from him at the beginning of the last vlog. If you guys seen that, it's not just came flying out. Okay, we're here. We are back two weeks later. Time to get these motherfucking wisdom teeth out and we're here, girl. We're here early because, I don't know, I think I thought it was further than it was and we had to stop at the post office because your bitch had bills to pay. I decided that for my post wisdom meal, I'm, we're gonna get Starbucks. They said you just couldn't have any carbonated drinks and I think that's it. What did they say? <laughs> What did they 
This morning I took the nausea medication and the anxiety medication. That shit kicked in in like literally two minutes. I stood up and I was like, oh my god, what fucking year is it? It like really relaxes your, your body and just makes you have no worries. Like this shit is the best shit ever. Maybe I should actually get like, I have no fears right now. Which is a lot better from last week. I brought bags and kids have to throw up. Like had a mental breakdown before I even went in there. I said we're gonna do the anesthesia, but I don't know if we're actually gonna do the anesthesia. I would think I would prefer not to, but they said that it would help my anxieties about it. But now that I have this thing, I'm like, bitch, I don't even care. They could really drill in my mouth right now and I'd be like, <laughs> that's it. That's it. This is like one of the last times you guys are gonna see this face. pineapple juice the second time around and I can barely move my mouth so I realized I never updated you guys on what happened so he took the, the scan of my teeth and they were hitting the nerves pretty bad actually and he's like I think that we should do the coronectomy and I was like would you be mad if I said just rip them out and he's like as long as you know the risk he said it's 50 50 that you'll like, regain the nerve feeling in your face um, it can take months, it can take years. Right now, <laughs> I only don't have feeling right here. Like, on this whole portion, I can't feel anything when I touch it. It's just tingly. When I eat, I can't feel, like, I really can't have any feeling. But, yes, we did the full wisdom tooth extraction, not the coronectomy. Overall, the experience was very good. It's very hard to eat. Don't recommend... 
literally every time I try to eat, it feels like I'm going to die. <laughs> I got two hours of sleep because the pain was so bad like the pain it hurts and i've been icing it everybody said that day two and three were the worst so i'm definitely seeing that that's true yeah overall good experience you guys enjoyed this video and i'll be back with another one soon probably a weekly vlog bye little girls love you i wish i could open my mouth goodbye i love you guys this is gonna find a way to put it on